Welcome to Fairy Tale Access, where the head fairy's quest is to prove that fairy tales do exist in actual time rather than once upon a time. Together, we will unravel the heroes, young and old, who turn dreams into reality. These are the people who still believe in happily ever after. The discoveries will bend even our most cynical non-believers into believing in fairy tales. Hi, welcome to Fairy Tale Access. Today, I have the Tutu Guru with me, and her name is Erin Fennelly. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So, the Tutu Guru, how do you get that name? Well, that's a good question. Um, I try to like look at other Tutu businesses and just one up them because I'm really competitive. So. I guess that would make me a guru. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Why this business? How did you get started? Are um, you interested in dance? Were you a dancer? I always wanted to be. I was more of a tomboy growing up, but um, my friends had a baby, and I just I would see them at like craft fairs or online on Pinterest, and I'm like, "That's such a cool gift," you know. And then when I'd see them at craft fairs, I'm like, "I feel like I could do more. Like I feel like I could enhance it." So. I just decided to like one day see if I had the materials in my house and I did and I whipped one up, posted it on Facebook and I got like 50 likes in like two hours. Oh, that must be fun. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is too weird. Like this is meant to be. <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the tutus that you design. Um, I make all of them myself. Mm -hmm. I use like a little technique where I there's the crocheted waistband has little holes in it. Mm -hmm. So each piece of tool I take individually, I fold it in half, and then I do kind of like a slip knot technique and slide it up. And that way, each piece I can kind of custom build. Can I see that piece? This is a big one. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And so you add in the sparkles or yeah, usually I do like the matte tool first, mm -hmm. and then I kind of use a little bit of like dimension. So I try to get a couple of colors in the same family, and then I add the sparkle at the very end to give it kind of like a, a little extra flair, you know? Absolutely. Now, is this the typical technique that you'll see on them, or is this something different that you've created? Um, I've seen it done that way. There's a couple different ways to do it. Another way is like an elastic waistband, and then um, you still use like a slip knot technique, but it can move on the waistband, or some people use ribbon. Oh, okay. So I like how this is like stationary, you know. Great. So it could fit a couple of different sizes, oh, or yeah. as the child grows, it can, exactly. they can wear it a little bit longer. Exactly. Is it washable? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. And do they all stay in place? Yep. Wow. Yeah. It's like a little ocean of color. Right. This it's is a custom one I'm, I'm making for an eight-year-old, or I made for an eight-year-old, because um, she's obsessed with Elsa. Oh, well, this is definitely an Elsa dress. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. And can you tell me a little bit more about some of your other pieces? Um, let's see. This is one I made for Christmas. So I added just a little, like, feathers to give it a little Santa kind of look to it. Oh, that's great. So all my tutus, because of the way that I do the slip knot technique, if you start at the knot mm -hmm. and you put your finger in between, you can smooth out the tool and you can give it a straight, more slick kind of look. Or you can go back and you can scrunch it and give it more of like a messier kind of appearance. So you get two looks with Absolutely. one tutu. Absolutely. Yeah. That's great. So. Who's your typical customer? Is it a dance student? Is it everybody that just wants to dress up their American Girl dolls? Right. <laughs> um, I would say most of my clientele is like three-year-olds, three to like five-year-olds, and whether it's their mom or their aunt giving you know a birthday present or some sort of gift, you know they're just like they can't like resist. They're like, oh my gosh, she would freak if she saw this. So, 
And then oh. it's just figuring out what color or what theme works, you know. That's fantastic. And this is for a little girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute with all the rainbow colors. Yeah. That one has a good amount of stretch on the waistband. So this would fit a probably like a two-year-old to like a five-year-old, possibly okay. a petite six-year-old, but you get like a really good amount of stretch with it. So Oh great. And so, it doesn't and it just doesn't I like the way that the tooling moves with the stretch. Me too. You know, it doesn't look less than or pulled out where yep. some of the other ones are put in and they're flat. Yeah, absolutely. That has a lot to do with the um, the quality of the tool too. Like I try to find stuff that is it's thick enough so it has enough like body to it, but if it's too stiff, it's almost like harsher on the skin, especially for right. babies and stuff. So if it's too thin, it just These looks really limp. Soft. Yeah, so I try to find that happy medium where it will hold the shape and still and have. like wearing it because yeah. it's not itchy and exactly. picking at them. Exactly. They're beautiful. Thank you. Do you have dance students that also use them? Yeah, right now I've done a lot for like dance class. You know, so not necessarily recitals, but that's something I'm definitely interested in branching out Oh, and they can get on. their favorite sports teams, too. Oh, that's very popular. The Boston Red Sox is very popular in New England, folks. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how much they let us down, we still love them. Right? They did win once. <laughs> right? I, I made that's some beautiful. Patriots once, and I couldn't even, I mean, the first day I had them, they were, like, gone. Gone. And now I'm having a hard time finding the ribbon. But Red Sox is right up there with Patriots, so. Absolutely. Yeah. They, that's great. Especially the dads. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting that. Like, that's <laughs> the way I get the dads instead of just the moms. <laughs> that's great. So do these typically get the moms? This is beautiful. Yeah, they love sparkle. Thank you. Oh, and they can wear any kind of t-shirt with it. And what do they usually wear underneath? Do they They're, wear the leggings like your American Dare Girl doll? Yep. Yeah. A lot of the baby ones that wear a onesie mm -hmm. with just the tutu, especially for photo shoots and stuff like that, um, or they'll just be in a diaper. That's so cute, especially the newborn ones. They're like on their belly, just with the diaper and their soft skin with the texture of the tool is like, it's so cool. That is adorable. It looks awesome. Oh, and you make them for the American Girl dolls? Yep, that's actually, um, something that I've just started doing more recently because a lot of my like three to five year old girls want matching ones for their dolls. So I make oh, them like custom. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And it'll fit a variety of different dolls because they're stretchy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I, I make them for the 18 inch dolls, um, like the American Girl doll, but because of the stretch, same thing. Yeah, they'll fit a good, a good amount of different dolls. Oh, that's great. And what, what other type of materials do you use? Um, I like to use ribbon. So mm -hmm. whether it's like with the skirt or here for like a little embellishment. Um, sometimes I use silk flowers, especially for the flower girl dresses. I like to embellish with that. Okay, so you do the tops too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What do they wear underneath for the flower girl dresses? Because they seem kind of see-through or yeah. are they? Um, it kind of depends on the theme of the wedding. Like those are very custom, you know? So sometimes I'll do, um, if they're younger, I'll do like rompers underneath. Oh, that's and, cute. And then I make the skirt a lot thicker too, so it's not as like see-through. See -through. Yeah. Or it, if it's an older, you know, like say an eight-year-old or something, um, we'll get like a slip for it, or I can build it kind of into the skirt because I'll know the exact measurement. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So this is popular for baby showers and gifts like yeah, that? definitely. Definitely. Oh. And they've been uh, used at birthday parties, costume and theme parties? Yeah. Now, That's what's like, up with the pep rallies? What was that? <laughs> That's like when I go to, because um, I do a lot of craft fairs, mm -hmm. when I go to like a high school, and I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm going to Memorial High School. Like their colors are red, white, and blue. So I'll make sure I have those that would fit a teenager. And then they wear them to like football games or they just Oh, and they're build school colors? It. Yeah. 
Oh, that must be fun. Yeah, it's so cool. So it's like I get that whole age range. It's like, who doesn't love tutus? <laughs> what girl, I should say. Right. What doesn't love tutus? <laughs> oh my gosh, and you're doing it with pets too, for cats and dogs? Yeah. How do they wear them? Do they like it? Um, <laughs> some of them like it or don't mind it. Some of them are probably a bit annoyed, especially the cats. This is more of like a cat one that I, I just kind of use this guy as an example. And he has the same, oh, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Right. So they don't mind this as much? No, as long as I don't put the tool underneath. So I leave their belly kind of open. Mm -hmm. And that way they don't like step on the tool and like oh, trip on so it. Oh, good. And they can go out and go potty. <laughs> you don't, you don't <laughs> Without have to worry. having to wash the tooling. <laughs> exactly. That's great. So yeah, I'll, I'll take this off and kind of show you what that looks like. So it's like almost like a half tutu. So it has the underneath kind of more exposed. Oh, wow. Especially the chihuahuas, like little dogs like that, or the cats are kind of like, you know. The cats are finicky. Yeah, yeah. Here's, a, here's a good duck. Oh, he's cute. He's a good sport. So do you find that kids buy them to put on their stuffed animal too? Yes, definitely. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, definitely. They're so cute. Thank you. Oh, I love that. Oh, and do you make the matching collars or yeah. ribbons? Yeah, my mom helps me with a lot of it. We're kind of like, you know, on the same wavelength with the creative thing. So she'll help me a lot with like headbands or, you know, just like the more intricate stuff that is a little tedious. Like I just like cranking out tutus, you know. She's like, oh, I'll sew that for you or whatever. She's like my little like sidekick. I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And you also do races, correct? Yeah. All right, tell us a little bit about that because this is an interesting story, I can tell. Yeah, it's so funny, like, especially men, like, they don't, they don't realize, like, how popular the races are in general, but, like, with tutus especially. Running. Yeah, Running so, races. yeah, so they do 5Ks, marathons, half marathons, all different, you know, even walks, like the breast cancer walk, that's a really, um, a popular one for the pink tutus especially. Um, so just the other day I got this bid to do a skirt chaser 7k. So what that means is the first 150 women wear tutus and then all the men run behind them and they chase the skirts. Oh, that's cute. So, yeah. So I'm doing all 150 tutus and then I'll also have a booth there. Wow. So I'm so excited about that. That's great. And who does that benefit? Um, I don't even know what's. That's bad. <laughs> I, I'm like, wow. that's something I'm definitely going to have to find out. But I've already told the, the girls running it that half of my proceeds from the booth that I do there, I'm, I'm going to donate to their charity because it is all for some oh, charity. That's great. <laughs> that's great. So do you enjoy doing a lot of those? Yeah. Do you also walk or run? Yes. Wow. Yeah. I know that's the thing. I'm like, I really want to be part of it and run in that race, but I'd love to have a booth too. So. We'll we see. have to bring your mom so you can run and then... That's a great idea. Yeah. I'm going to recruit her. <laughs> Hopefully she's okay with that. Yeah, so this <laughs> is the detail part, Mom. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then you can run and, you know, model the tutu outfit after. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Do you have to wear a short one for that or...? Yes and no. The, with running, like, the biggest thing that I found is because my waistbands are so stretchy, they really have to be fit. So the more you run, the more it like will fall down if it's loose. So it's just a matter of like making sure it actually fits well. Oh wow! Yeah, because then you're running and you're like pulling it up. You know, it's like <laughs> distracting. Yeah, and then, yeah, you don't want to lose any seconds. Yeah, exactly. Those races are close. Yeah, and that is so cute. So the little girls are matching up their outfits with these. Oh yeah, I can't get enough. What made you get into this besides? Seeing the other tutus. Um, well, I'm a hairdresser, mm -hmm. and I love. Um, I specialize in hair color, so I love dimension and just figuring out different ways to play colors off of each other. Um, so I like doing that with the tool, just like I do with hair, and it's kind of a cool way to like sit at home and have a little 
you know, like time in front of the TV while still crafting. And it's just, it's like therapeutic for me. So after doing like one or two, I'm like, how have I never done this? Like, I love it. And wow. it, yeah. So have you always enjoyed the sewing and the creative angle? Because you're really not yeah. doing too much sewing, but yeah, you must have to sew the waistbands at some point. Yeah, I do. That's, I can do that a little bit, but like, <laughs> it's, I'm like, I don't know. It's like a lot for me to sit there and sew consistently. Like mm -hmm. I'm too, I gotta like keep moving. So because it's so like intricate, that's why my mom comes in handy. <laughs> that's a great business partner yeah. though. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so what other influences? How long have you been a hairdresser? Um, going on 11 years now. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I have a, um, a goddaughter that's two and a half years old. So she lives in Maine, but that's something that I'm always trying to figure out, like what would be a great gift for her? And she's like super girly. She loves tutus. Like she has, she's probably got like 10 of them right now, but, wow. but it's like, you know, for Christmas, I'm making her a Tinkerbell one. So it's like, it's just so much fun. Like you can Are they affordable? Oh, definitely. Really? Yeah. It's not an expensive item no, at it's, a craft fair? Yeah, like that's the thing. At craft fairs, it's hard to have anything like over, say. You can't say the prices. Okay. It's, it's really hard to have a higher price range because people are coming in with, you know, smaller amounts of money in their pocket. So they mm -hmm. just want to get a couple of things from every booth. So that's why I do really well with the baby ones there and like the three-year-old ones. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So what else can you tell us about this business? Um, I definitely love how I can do dolls to adults. Like I love how there's such a range of like a clientele. Like I think that's so much fun. Um, and I love doing the consultation just like with hair. Like I like sitting down or talking on the phone with someone and saying like, okay, like what are you using it for? Um, you know, do you like sparkle? Do you like ribbon? Do you want to like wear the front shorter and the back longer, which is called like a high-low tutu. Mm -hmm. And that's very popular with ballerinas and dancing, like especially that's adults. True. Yeah, so I just love like getting to know my client and then really customizing it for them, which is like very similar to hair. Wow, so does so. your mom help you with the tops? Yes, definitely. That's, see, that's the thing. Like I love doing the whole thing but all those little details she's so great for. And she's like right there, like ready to help, which is awesome. Oh, that is awesome. I'm lucky to have her. You are. What does your dad think? It depends on the day. <laughs> he must just be like, this is really girly. Yeah, he makes um, wands to go like with our tutu, so. Oh, so mom, he's part of the team. Yeah. He like, okay, so he makes wands out of wood like mm -hmm. they're all wooden they're so cool they have like snowflakes on the top and then my mom makes tiaras so with the whole set especially with the elsa and the anna like this is an anna one which is elsa's sister mm -hmm. in, in the movie frozen so we'll have a blue tiara and then we'll have the blue wand and they just like freak out like, oh they must yeah they like come running you must just have a flock of children around your yes, booth definitely so the only thing my dad isn't a fan of is glitter. So like when he's been making wands or helping me with my tutus and he has glitter all over <laughs> him and then he goes out into the world. <laughs> yeah, that might be embarrassing the, for a man. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> I have a daughter. That's all he has to say. Yeah, They'll that's know. true. Oh, yeah. that's great. It sounds like a wonderful business and you have so much fun doing it. I do, I love it. <laughs> So what are your favorite books of all time? Do you have a favorite book? Yes, definitely. Um, the Power of Style, it's Ooh. called. So basically it has a lot to do with like dressing, just style in general. But I always used to refer to it for hair color and makeup advice basically. So it will help you differentiate if you're a warm skin tone versus a cool skin tone, and then what colors work with you or what you should absolutely avoid, what seasons are better for you. Like, and it just, it really like simplified color for me. So as much as I knew about hair color and dimension and placement, 
it made me think a completely different way. And then mm -hmm. I was able to incorporate that with this business too. So I just have so much fun with color in general. Like, love it. <laughs> I know. I love the purple highlights. Thank you. Very <laughs> Thank you. So very, very tail accessible, the whole ensemble. That is fantastic. So what advice do you have for young entrepreneurs such as yourself? Um, I definitely wasn't sure like where this tutu business would take me. Like I, I didn't even know it was going to be a business. Like I just did it as a gift. And then when I got that response and people just started sending me messages on Facebook, like I want the same one in red, you know, um, I would be like silly not to take advantage of that, you know? So then I got an Etsy page and, you know, made a Facebook page and, um, there's such a wide array of tutus for all different people and events. And I think it's very important to know like who your target market is. Like, do I want to focus on babies or do I want to focus on the races? So I think just having a game plan, like even if it's two different target markets, like do one thing really well, you know, like Absolutely. I think it's just important to like really have a little bit more focus instead of trying to balance everything. So so you should follow what you love, and you never know where it'll take you. Exactly. So if people want more information, where can they contact you on? Um, I have a Facebook page, The Tutu Guru. Okay. Instagram, mm -hmm. The Tutu Guru. <laughs> Twitter, The Tutu Guru. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, and then my Etsy page is where I do a lot of business, because I can just have everything there displayed, and then you can you know, purchase things on there. So that's the guru of tutus on Etsy, and that's my shop name. Great. So people could put in special orders or ask you about special orders yep. for dance recitals. Anything. Anything. Possibilities are endless. That usually usually they'll send me a, a private message that way, and then mm -hmm. I can actually create a custom listing for them. So I can say um, tutu for Denise, and then that way once I've made it and took a picture of it, you can go on, click on your name, pay for it that way, and then I mail it out. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more from you because you're opening your own business again. Yeah. <laughs> in January, is it? As of January 1st. And mm -hmm. that's going to be hairdressing? Yeah. Yeah, I've been an employee in two salons over my 11-year career. And one of my girlfriends and I are going to have our own business. So we're going to have our own salon. It's, I mean, it's basically ready to go. She, she's been in there for a little bit, and I'm kind of like joining her team. And we're going to focus on a lot of bridal things. So even though I specialize in color, I also do a lot of weddings. And, and then it's just kind of weird how the tutu thing goes completely hand in hand with that. So I can, you know, not necessarily like solicit the tutus, mm -hmm. but you know, just having one or two hung up in my salon with the flower girl theme, I think is just gonna help, you know? Absolutely. So It's a good mix. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> well, I'm really excited for you. Thank Have you. we missed anything? I don't think so. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing so much about your business and how you got into it. It's really exciting. Thank you. Thank You're you totally a tutu guru. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. And until next time, keep asking questions and follow your dreams. Like Aaron, you never know where they'll take you. We'll see you soon.